So this is part of our Intelligent Edge IoT experience, and right now I'm joined by Mr. Chris Meering, and we're going to talk about unlocking insights from the edge to the core using video intelligence. Chris? Hi Norm, thanks for coming over. So this section here, we got many, uh, our IoT town demonstration. So around the corner, we've got our IoT platform, and here we're bringing our IoT platform together with our edge line convergent infrastructure. Mm -hmm. So video surveillance is a really strong use case for many right. smart cities. Many people are looking at it from security, from safety, but also for the operations of the city, traffic management, etc. But video by its nature is very high bandwidth. It's very bandwidth intensive. Data intensive. Data intensive, right. uses a lot of the network. Yeah. So what we've built here is a solution that looks at how we optimize that network by using edge compute right at the edge of the, of the network yeah. to analyze that data and only bring back the relevant metadata into the uh, universal yeah. IoT platform where we enrich that data with further information from other sensors before pushing it on to the command and control system. So what about the, what's the hardware that really makes that happen? So the hardware here is a, an Edgeline ER4000, yeah. so the largest of the Edgeline series. This is running Xterra Video Analytics. Okay. So what we're doing is we're taking information from these cameras here. What we do then is we analyze that data on this edge line. So we only pull for, as I say, just the relevant metadata. And if we look up here at this diagram, you can see what I mean. The edge line running Tesla P4, NVIDIA Tesla P4 cards analyzing the data there. We then store the data and push it in for storage later, but we run this through our switch and just bring in these relevant attributes. In the Universal IoT platform, we're pulling in information from other sensors, and for this demo, we're using these two sensors here, which is a CO2 and a um, temperature sensor uh -huh. from another one of our partners. We then push this information up to a command and control center. Now, a command and control center used by smart cities is a series of standard operating procedures. So if I just flick over to, over to it, this is one from our, um, one, another one of our partners, this is Imagine 2020. And what this is doing is it's showing these alerts as they come in and say so what the city will do is have built into this system standard op procedures. So it might be, for example, if a crowd starts to form, they'll just notify the local police right. that there's a crowd forming. If that gets bigger, then they might pull more action. A good example we've used, and we haven't been able to use it here this week because of the crowds, is abandoned object. So if a bag was out there, just stuck by those bins, it would be a security concern. Uh -huh. If we see that for, say, 10 minutes, we might trigger a, a minor alert, which would allow the city to just notify the police. Right. If it stayed longer, we might go to low, to medium, by which point, using a system like this, linked to our universal IoT platform, therefore linked back to, this, to the sensors and the actuators in the field, we could do things like start moving traffic away from that area just by changing the traffic light sequences. So much more sort of low key type approach rather than just kind these of, scrum scrum. Exactly, exactly. Can control it from well, there. That's a, that's a really interesting use case, but I, again, kind of the magic here is edge to core. Edge to core. Right? And it's the metadata yeah. that is actually being brought forward or the right data, in this case an alert, right? It's something suspicious and an alert was forwarded but all of that processing taking place out on the edge. Out on the edge. You know, before sending information forward. Absolutely. So. The other thing we do with this is smart cities is very much, um, people think of smart cities about optimizing the assets in the city, optimizing the operations in the city, making it safer. But it's as much about citizen engagement and making services better for the citizen. Right. So the example we've done with this is take data that's being used for security and surveillance and then make it available to the citizen. So an example would be, any of us that have been to Plaza de Catalunya this week will know uh -huh. that uh, it gets quite busy. Yeah. Well, we'd use one of these surveillance systems for security in there and looking at crowd control. So let's make that information available to the citizens. Because you might want to decide tonight, I don't want to go down there if it's really busy. Yeah. So we've used um, the data, linked it to um, the IoT platform, and we make it available via Facebook chatbot. So if I want to look to see what the average crowd is or what's the maximum crowd, all I've got to do is type it in. It's free language, and then yeah. citizens could decide whether or not yeah. they want to use yeah. it. Yeah, so what you're really doing is you're leveraging data collected for one purpose and then seeing how else you can share it and apply it. Again, unlocking insights. Absolutely. Chris, Absolutely. thank you so much. Thanks sir. a lot, Norm.